This is the Instax Square SQ6. Modern, minimal and, well, magic really. It not only looks good, it makes all of your photos look good too. It gives you RT square shots with a neat border in seconds. Choose from three colours, blush gold, graphite grey or pearl white. Tough decision, I know. Then attach the strap and your camera ready. Get yourself a pack of Instax Square Film in black or white. Pop it in and switch the camera on. Make sure you're not covering the lens cover. Then press the shutter button to eject this little bit of plastic, the protective cover. Press the shutter button to take your snap. Your photo will develop in about 90 seconds. This number shows how many shots you've got left. When you get to zero, grab yourself another pack of film. The auto mode is great for morning, noon and night. Perfect for parties. If it's dark, get your elbows in, stay steady and hold still. We all want flawless selfies. That's what the selfie mode is for. Hold the camera like this. Do a last minute checkup in the selfie mirror and take your snap. Capture things further away with the landscape mode. And get close up with the macro mode. For an awesome mashup photo, use the double exposure mode to combine two images into one. Lighten when you need more light. Darken when you want a more low key look. Own the moment behind and in front of the lens with the self timer. Use a tripod to steady the shot. Select the self timer and jump into frame. Don't want to flash? Turn it off. Or try out the flash colour filters for atmospheric vibes in purple, green and orange. Once you've got your snap, it's time to create that wall of fame. Hey guys, Maria Montgomery here, and I'm here to tell you about one of my new favorite tools ever, and it is by Remington, and look how cute they are. These are the awesome new ceramic pearl wands, and so they create a really awesome curl that I can't wait to show you. So, here we go. I'm gonna choose the bigger one. So this one is uh, one inch to one and a half inches, but if you want, you can do smaller. Uh, the smaller ones are better for short hair or tighter curls, um, but I like more of the wave look, so I'm going with this guy. And not only is it pink and cute, but it matches my shirt, which is always awesome. First, safety first, you get this super awesome little glove guy. So he protects your hand, keeps you from getting all those not so cute scars on your hand, um, which is possible when you're dealing with something that's 410 degrees. Um, this also heats up in 30 seconds, so it's actually already hot, um, which is great if you're like me on the go. Um, it's also a good size for traveling, I think, because you don't have to deal with the bulky, you know, the arm, the clamp. You want to curl away from your face and you curl down the barrel without overlapping your hair. Again, this is when you're thankful for this glove. So it really uh, keeps my hand from burning, which it would be doing right now without it, so, and then hold for up to 10 seconds. You don't wanna to go too much longer than that. And then you have a good, soft curl. I really like these curls because you can brush them out and make them as wavy and casual as you want them to be, or you could spray that really well and keep it pretty formal. Uh, so it gives you a good variety. So I like to have those options whenever I'm styling my hair, especially with just one tool that's really easy and really cool. Also, another trick to help your curls stay all day long is to grab relatively small sections. So the size I grab is typically about that big. But again, I like my hair more of a, of a wave. So you can grab smaller sections for tighter curls or larger sections for more loose waves. This swivel cord helps uh, make it really easy to curl your hair whenever you're finagling around your head, um, but it doesn't tangle, it doesn't get caught in your arms, it just stays out of your way without even having to think about it. So that's something I think is really great too. With this one, you do have the cooling tip, which is nice. Sometimes they're half the size or non-existent. Um, I find with this one, I can really hold on to it safely without worrying too much about the burns. 
And at the end of the day, you're trying to be pretty and not all burned up, right? So safety comes first. So I tend to be on the run a lot, um, going between photo shoots or flights or whatever you have it um, for the week. And I sometimes get a little cuckoo. So this wand is also my friend in that area because it has a sh automatic shut off after an hour. Um, and that just helps me sleep well at night, knowing that it automatically shuts off and my house is safe. Another thing that is great about this wand is that the, the barrel itself is tapered. So as you may be able to see, it goes from large to small. And I'm being very careful again to not overlap the hair strands so that they all touch the barrel and get the curl. And by having the tapered effect, it gives it more of a natural look. It looks more natural if the curls are wider and um, if the curls are bigger up top next to your scalp and then smaller on the bottom. And that's, at the end of the day, what I like to have is more of that natural curl look. So I get asked a lot what temperature you should select uh, when using your wand. And I find that I like to use 410 degrees, so all the way up for my hair. Um, but that's because my hair is thicker. So it takes a little bit more heat to get all the way through to get those curls uh, really defined like I like them to be. But I have lots of friends who prefer the lower heat settings because their hair is more fragile, more damaged, um, or more fine than mine is. So. Um, it's all dependent on your hair. So this wand really is great for all hair types because you can customize it uh, with the temperature or the size depending on what curl you want or what type of hair you have. So it's really uh, just made for everybody and you can get a custom look because of it. So I also get asked a lot how long you should hold the wand on your hair. And I find that the longer I hold it, the better the curl stays. And again, that's just totally dependent on your hair type. So for me, whose hair doesn't exactly love to curl on its own, um, I hold it for a few seconds and then release, but just keep in mind if you have a lot of product on your hair that you wanna hold it for less time. So you're sure not to fry your hair because you do not want that to happen. It's best to start with dry and clean hair. That gives you the best effect to last throughout the day. If you do use product when styling your hair with the wand, all it takes is a damp cloth to wash it off um, pretty simply and it comes right clean. Thank you all so much for joining me today. That's all I have. I really hope that you're able to go out and find yourself a Remington Pearl Ceramic Wand and that you love it as much as I do. Bye-bye.